One punch! Hey guys, what's up? This is Taco Fanboy, and today I'm going to be bringing you my thoughts on episodes one through three of One Punch Man, one of the, one of the best series currently ongoing. I have not read any of the manga, so please do not spoil any of that for me. But this series, oh my God, what can I say about this series? The the characters, the plot, the dynamics, the animation, the art, everything is spot on. All right, so I guess I, I guess I'll start out with the main character, Saitama. He is he was this this ordinary guy who lost his job and he he doesn't know what to do with life and he like he sees this crab and it starts uh, like picking on some some dude and or some little kid actually and uh he just like starts he's like questioning himself he's like why am i doing this why why would i be trying to go go inter, inter intervene between this these this discrepancy and uh he he realizes at that moment that he wants to be a hero. So in episode three, we actually get the backstory on his training regiment, which is co complete bull, if you ask me. I, I there has to be some deeper meaning behind this. Like this this cannot be the only thing. But it starts out as 100 sit-ups, 100 push-ups, and a 10-kilometer run every day. And he did this until his hair fell out. And then after his hair fell out, the he he got his powers. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure how the hell that happened, and even Genos calls out his bullshit as he's explaining this to him, and, uh, when this whole situation is going on in episode three, Carnage Kabuto's like, you, you're just making fun of me now, and he goes into a rage mode, and, uh, it, this, this, this show is just unbelievable, and we get, we get the student of Saitama in episode two, after it, Saitama one punches that uh the fly woman or mosquito woman or whatever whatever you want to call her and uh he's Genos is a cyborg who's been uh genetically enhanced by this doctor which we actually did get uh get views of in episode four but I'll be saving episode four for a separate review because it just came out yesterday but yeah Genos he, he uses like flames and he can just, he, it's basically like a flamethrower built into his body, but at asinine levels. Anyways, yeah, these, this, the character dynamic that they have between each other, Saitama basically tolerates Genos, and Genos wants to learn everything that Saitama has to offer. Um, yeah, this, their, their character and dynamic is, is wonderful. Let's, let's talk about the art and animation, though. Holy shit. This 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 aspect could make this series a ten out of ten alone. Like I I I'm I'm mind blown every single episode I watch. And I mean I can't believe they deliver this on a week to week basis. It's it's almost unbelievable. It's unfathomable. But anyways, we get in episode three, um this 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 character called Genis and he is he's the mastermind between behind the the house of evolution in which he created a bunch of clones of himself he's he's been trying to uh evolve the human species beyond its uh certain limitations and obviously he has a realization after watching saitama that holy shit maybe it's not it doesn't lie with science maybe it's maybe it's something else and he's he's completely defeated i feel like that character is definitely going to come back some point later on but yeah, the one of the one of the best parts about this series is the lightheartedness and the comedy that Saitama that Saitama brings every single week. I mean, just the little little things like, oh my God, when he's in episode two when he's trying to catch the fly that's just floating around and it's one of the flies that that uh, fly woman had like killing people and shit. It's 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 just hilarious, and then in uh episode three when he's actually fighting carnage kabuto when he when when that kabuto goes into carnage mode or whatever he says he's going to uh last like this for what was it a week and saitama starts thinking about the days and he realizes that today is saturday and he one punches him because he's pissed off that he missed the sale at the market just little things like that 
it's it's such a it's such a all around well well developed series. I mean, I yeah. And another thing is, I I really I don't know if I'll ever read the manga. I might I might not. I'm not I'm not too sure at this point. But I'm I'm really enjoying the week to week aspect in it. It's just the animation, man. Oh my god. But anyways, like I said, I'll be bringing episode four review later today probably re probably right after this one actually and um yeah subscribe if you haven't like the video if you did otaku fanboy out see you guys